It's Thursday. Our vet is here answering your pet questions. Dr. Joe Landers, as usual. So give us a call right now, 460-KJRH. Uh, he brought along Scarlett as Carl well. Scarlett, I, I was telling everybody, Scarlett used to fit in my hand. She got uh, beat up pretty bad in a dog fight. She probably oh. tried to grab some big dog's food, and she's actually kind of missing this eye over here, although the globe is still in there. But she's just the greatest little dog. She will warm up to you, but when you put her in a new situation, I call them freezers. She just kind of freezes up here. So... Aww. But she's a nice little dog. I don't know what she is. She she's has so many calm. different breeds probably in her. But she is. she's going to be a little bit bigger. But she's on the web at animalaid.org or she's over at the clinic, which is um, 627-8575. So, right. But come she's see her. Sweet. She's a great little dog. Yeah, so. she's sweet. All right, we have Christy on the line from Tulsa. Hi, Christy. What's your question? Hi. I have Hi. a poodle mm -hmm. who was recently mm -hmm. groomed, mm -hmm. and she has been scratching her neck so bad yep. she's created sores. Yeah. Usually you want to go in there and get some antibiotics and kind of get that treated. Some of these guys are kind of more sensitive to, to razor burn and stuff. Uh, sometimes, too, you want to look and make sure there's, there's, there's nothing else going on. You probably don't have any fleas or anything. But a lot of times what I'll tell people, a little, little, little trick there is if they're sensitive, and some skin is more sensitive and poodles are like that, is give a dose of Benadryl. Ask your veterinarian of course, but a lot of times we'll give a dose of Benadryl before you go get groomed, and that way uh, it's like taking a, a, an ibuprofen before you go out and suntan, mm -hmm. and that way you don't get sunburned, so All right. kind of pre-treat. My IFB is kind of messing up a little yes. bit, my earpiece, so we're just going to go ahead and go to the you next betcha. caller. I don't have the name. I'm sorry. Next caller, please. Hi, Dana. Hi, my name's Jana from Tulsa. Yes, ma'am. And I was calling. I have a oh, 11, almost 12-year-old Rottweiler. Uh-huh. And she has become violent towards me and my husband. Mm -hmm. And so I have to keep her in a cage. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's um, a pretty serious deal. A lot of times when they have uh, behavioral changes like that, you want to talk to your veterinarian because there can be two things going on. Sometimes we've actually found where some of these dogs get some brain tumors, and it does change them. And you want to be really careful because, you know, that's something that you don't want to get hurt or whatever. And sometimes there's some other things kind of going on, too. But that's something that you need to talk to your veterinarian about, especially if you have little kids around or if you have, like, you know, people that, that aren't as good at handling dogs, say elderly people or something that may be kind of scared but that's something to get checked out because a total change in personality especially towards the aggression can either be hormonal or, or brain induced or sometimes through pain if they're really old too so okay but yeah uh, have that checked out that all right i have this next yes. caller's name we have vicky from broken arrow on the line hi vicky what's your question hi, um, hi. i have a border collie skipper key mix she's yes. ten and a half months old mm -hmm. And I was wondering, when's the best time to switch her over from puppy food to regular food? Usually, usually we'll do that around a year or so. Um, usually it's kind of like when they're done kind of growing. Um, and that's, that's usually around a year or so. And usually you want to kind of mix it half and half and do that. And, and usually okay. So, But it sounds like you're getting there. So. All right. Well, we're out of time. Well, Scarlett, again, I mean, such a good she's dog. She's a great little dog. She really is. Uh, yeah. She has, I mean, she, she's not going to be the leader of the pack by any means. But she is a <laughs> really, really sweet dog. A lot of times so. we can't even get she through the segment. Without so. them, you know, <laughs> yep, yep. trying She's to play. If you're interested in adopting uh, Scarlett, call Animal Aid at 744-8280. Go to animalaid.org or she's at Heritage Veterinary Hospital. If you missed today's segment, you can watch it again at kgrh.com and click on the Lifestyle tab uh, to watch it again, learn about other pets who need homes, and to find out more about Heritage Veterinary Hospital. Back to you.